For premium freestyle courses, videos, and discussion, check out the freestylecommunity.com. The link is in the description. All right, what's up? In this video, we're going to be going through soul juggles and we're going to be talking about the technique. And this is a very difficult technique to master when you're a beginner or you're just starting out. This is very different from anything that you've done before. You're going to be lying on the back, your feet are going to be in the air, and also the ball's going to be spinning a lot. So there's lots of things to practice here. So the first thing I would say is make sure you be patient whilst learning this technique. It doesn't happen overnight but with the correct tips, you can land it quite quickly. So the first thing you need to do is get in position. You're lying flat on your back. You're gonna have your arms either side of you, keeping you in position. You're gonna hoist your legs right up into the air. And the perfect positioning is that you're gonna be looking directly up to the sky and you wanna see both feet in the air and you wanna be just like peering over your toes. And this is where the ball is gonna be and this is where you're gonna be making contact with the ball. You're gonna be tapping the ball with your sole, obviously, but with the front half of your foot. So you wanna try and stay away from that heel area. Sometimes you're gonna to have to heel it a little bit to try and keep the ball in the correct position, but for the most part, you're gonna be tapping it with the underside of your toes. And like I said, that is the exact technique. You need to tap it. You don't wanna try and push through the ball because you really can't whilst in that position. It's just this small tap and your foot is gonna bend slightly and that's gonna generate a bit of backspin. And you want that backspin to happen because it's gonna keep the ball in the exact same position. So you're gonna be striking through it. And the classic uh, analogy or comparison, I guess, is riding a bicycle, just like the way your feet move whilst riding a bicycle. It's exactly the same, but you're gonna be turned upside down with the ball in the air. But that is the uh, that is the comparison. That's the kind of idea that you want to have in your head. So start off by holding the ball by your chest. So you're just gonna throw it up and just practice that tap. And you wanna see that there's a little bit of backspin, let the ball come back down to you, then throw it back up and do it with the other one. And just keep practicing, get used to that technique. It's just a small tap and eventually you start doing two in a row, three in a row, and like I said, just be patient with it because it can get very difficult. Then once you're more used to it, let's say you're up to like five or six, you can start throwing the ball up from your ankles. So you're falling back into that position, lifting the ball up with your ankles and going straight into soul juggles. And like with any type of juggling or any type of trick where you're just trying to be consistent, just set yourself records. So if you do five the next day, give yourself a small increment, say, oh, I'm gonna do six or seven and just build it up that way. And that's how you see quick progress, but over a, a decent period of time. Then once you get to about 20 in a row, you'll start to find that you've got the technique more or less down and then you can really start accelerating and beating your record and that's when you can start trying different tricks and trying different things. So that's Soul Juggle. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a comment, leave a like and uh, follow me for more tutorials of course and check out all of my courses and extra content that I have in my bio. Head to lensfreestyle.com. Check out the community, the freestylecommunity.com. And yeah, enjoy. Take care. Peace.